Hello everyone and welcome to game 2 of a best of 3 series from the Black Dragon League between White Rust spawning as the Blue Protoss over here at the 10 o'clock position and Goody spawning as the Purple Terran at the 5 o'clock position. Now I'm going to be talking a little bit about the first game so if you haven't seen it then go watch it because I'm about to spoil some of it. So here we go. Yeah we've seen White Ra going for that warp prism play that I I was well I wasn't all sure but I was almost sure that he's gonna do it because I've seen him uh, promote this kind of strategy this kind of build on scrap station a number of times especially against Terran I mean it's just so effective because you know that the Terran is probably going to be walling off so you can't really go you know head front into that uh, like um, you know into the uh, into the wall that he's planted at his ramp it's no, it's no real point you're gonna you're not gonna break that so he did the next best thing actually the best thing he could do he went for some sort of it's not really early aggression but early enough aggression with that war prism and it's just so good it's so good because you can actually get some units to start with if you compare that to a proxy pile like People, obviously, when they're playing with gateways, they're probably going to lay down proxy pylons, you know, and warp in units close to your base and so forth. But the proxy pylon does not already give you an advantage when it's when it's there. You have, you're going to have to warp in units or obviously you have to still, you have to come with units yourself at the start and then lay down the proxy pylon or anything like that and then keep on reinforcing. But with the warp prism, you can actually warp in units after you've dropped them. So that is really a considerable advantage to, it's like having, let's say, two warp prism cooldowns of uh, worth of warping in units so that's really really good I think a lot of protas should try incorporating uh, the war prism in their builds more but um, there we go it looks like uh, White Rot is scouting ahead with this probe sent this probe out really early because he wants to know what's happening before the wall off completes he doesn't see that much he sees one gas so that's not gonna be two gas he's not gonna be worried about benches or anything like that most likely but um, well the map is going to be Jungle Basin. And Jungle Basin, well, it's good for Terran, it's good for Protoss too. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with Protoss. You can set pylons over here and start warping in units at the natural and so forth, or here at the rocks and do the same thing. So, there's a lot of things you can do with Protoss. Also, it's very good for Terran in the late game-ish, because after they get a Planetary Fortress, which they almost always do over here, so if they get a Planetary Fortress at this position, it's really hard to break that, so... It's really a great foothold to launch your attacks from as Terran because, well, this expansion is very easy for you to defend because it's really close to your base and since you have that planetary fortress, it's going to be much, much better to defend that. And, well, then these side expansions, it depends who's going to get them and who's going to be able to secure them. These side expansions are really awkward. I mean, these are the worst expansions on any map. I think the positioning, they're so far from your base and they're far from all the other expansions as well. I mean, they're far from the natural, they're far from this one. And uh, the pathways are narrow. I mean, this one goes all the way to your natural, and you have to go around like this or through the middle of the map, but you only have this ramp over here. So it's really an uncomfortable map. And uh, then you have this other avenue over here. But yeah, I mean, these uh, it's kind of. It doesn't really look like StarCraft, does it, those expansions? So, yeah, I mean, the GSL maps, I'd rather play on those. Uh, I've already been playing, by the way, on those maps quite a lot. Um, just been playing some custom games around on those maps and it feels great it doesn't matter really i've tried even other races other than zergs so i really like those maps i really hope we'll get to see them in ladder more but looking at what's happening at what's happening in the game right now goody is opening pretty much the same way he did last time he's getting he's going to go one 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 so barracks into factory into starport i wonder is he going to go for some banshees looks like he did get the double gas over here He's getting a tech lab, so probably this tech lab is going to be used for the starport. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see, he's going to be researching blue flame or anything like that. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. He's going to land his factory somewhere else. And that starport, yeah, so probably um, White Run not going to be so prepared for those banshees. He's probably going to have stalkers, though, obviously, but uh, I don't think he's going to have detection up anytime soon. There we go, scouting around with these stalkers, seeing if anything fishy is going on. Nice play from White Run. Uh, checking out if there's any proxy starports or anything like that on the map. Looks like he's going for the same kind of opening to gate into Robo Facility. So let's see if he's going to get those War Prisms again. He did get these sentries, obviously a great choice because, well, if he, if there's anything really aggressive incoming, he can just force field this ramp and both these sentries almost have uh, energy for two force fields. So um, that is probably going to be enough for White Rod to hold until he can get Reinforcements in case an attack is coming, but like I said, Banshees are on the way. Cloak on the way as well. Two Banshees queued up over here. Let's see where this rally point is over here. Okay, so looks like Goody is going to uh, try some Banshee harass. Probably will go for the natural, and by the time those Banshees are out, this natural is probably going to have some probes on it as well. Now, Cloak is going to be done 
while this second Banshee is getting produced. So pretty much when this Banshee is done, Cloak is going to be done as well. Looks like Goody is going to be moving ahead already with this Banshee. Now there's one probe over here. This will scout um, the incoming Banshees if they don't Cloak ahead of this point. But looks like what is White Dragon? Is he yep, there we go. Putting that uh, probe on patrol. He's going to see this. He is going to see this. He is going to see this. He did see this. So... Goodbye, surprise attack, and probably gonna be, yep, there we go, the reaction, warping in some stalkers. He does have cloak, though, that, um, that observer, there we go, very good timing from Wydra. Wydra knows these timings inside out, already having this observer up, and Goody's like, oh, how did he, Goody's probably turning in, you know, just, uh, getting a little bit frustrated right now, because, uh, well, when you go for fast banshees with cloak it is quite a big investment and if it doesn't work out well it's not really that effective you know so uh probably gonna try sniping some more probes you see actually going for that pylon just i, I think you could have taken a probe down just uh just fine so anyway it looks like a second banshee is on the way right now a few stalkers in position over here he is cloaking it but uh well there's an observer there white dress so um uh, I, I mean, Goody, so uh, you're not going to do anything with that. So Goody right now is... I, I think um, he will have to go for some... He lost a lot of... Uh, he, he's really behind right now. I mean, if you take a look at this, he's on. He's still on one base and not even a command center on the way. He's, so he's probably going to get this Tim right now. He's going to get more units and commit to some sort of all-in attack. But I'm, I'm not really sure if he can do anything. Templar Archives has already completed for White He's probably going to get Psy Storm right away. And... Uh, well, he's going to have the economic advantage, he's going to have the army advantage pretty soon, so, um, well, I don't know. Goody's playing a little bit, um, a little bit weird considering that he's playing against Wydra. I, I don't, I don't think he can, I'm, I'm not sure if he's not confident in his ability to win a, a, a straight up macro game that he's trying all this kind of stuff, so Banshees, and usually when you try this against a player like White Ra that knows timings inside out, it's not really going to work. Good players don't really fall for this kind of stuff. This is stuff that works on ladder play on uh, uh, opponents that are not so experienced, but indeed Psystorm is on the way. Looks like Goody's gonna be making an attack right now. Let's see how much damage this is going to do. <laughs> Setting down some bunkers. Gonna be sieging up these tanks. And there we go, White Ra is moving in. He doesn't char have charge on his Zealots though, so... Uh, I think he could have broken that. Why did he not go for that? Is he waiting for Psy Storm? I'm not sure. Probably gonna feed back these. There we go. High Templar on the way. Let's see, this will probably die. Oh, very close. Almost, almost killing those Banshees. And... Um, 2 HP on that Banshee, but the bunkers are finishing. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't go for it here. I think he had more than enough to... The bunkers weren't finished, and, uh, well, only three tanks. I think he had enough to deal with that, especially with the storm on the Marines. So, anyway, looks like um, Goody is going to be elevating, elevating some of his forces from this side to this side. This is really good because you can draw your enemy into the siege tank fire and then do damage with your Marines as well. There we see Whitera losing a lot of stalkers, actually. That was surprisingly good for Goody. White Dragon, um, not realizing, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but uh, here we go, some Zealots and Sentries on the way. These High Templar are still here, but no energy for Storms yet, some more Stalkers being warped in. He's probably gonna want to force a bit late on that force field, but still, um, well, this is not going so good right now for White Dragon. Goody doing a lot of damage with this, uh, with this over here, pinning White Dragon down, putting him in a, in a tough spot right here. There's, there are some cannons in the back, but those cannons are not really gonna help because the banshees and everything else really is um, outraging the outranging <laughs> I just said outraging so outranging those photon cans there we go one storm on the banshees as well the banshees are almost there there we go banshees going down I think some miss micro over there from goody um, not exactly sure I think he was looking somewhere else he is expanding right now there we go command center is ready to land but meantime some attack over here let's uh, back off a little bit and take a look at this I think I missed what exactly did I miss how many of how many zealots were there here and uh no, no, th there we go, the warp is in play, <laughs> again. So he did warp in some zealots, these uh, SCVs evacuated. And there's a bunker here though, so, and a tank, so let's see how many SCVs, are there gonna be any SCVs dying? Looks like, yep, oh, that friendly fire doing, ooh, a lot of damage, there we go, on sieging the tank, but some SCVs do go down. Yeah, so, stopping mining over here, so, that was pretty good. Looks like Goody is moving inside White Dra's base right now. He is going to... He did take down that, that cannon over there. One more storm going down. White Dra is 
Still in the lead because he's mining from his natural, but this entrenched position is offering Goody a really solid advantage right now. He needs to get something. He needs um, he needs a lot of units to break this. There we go. He's getting some Immortals. Obviously, Immortals the greatest unit you can have to break anything like this because they will absorb a lot of damage. They will also do a lot of damage. I mean, their hardened shields will just take 10 damage from that um, from that tank. So that's really uh, that's really great for uh, for White Rail. Looks like this tank is has been dropped over here and it can already fire upon those probes and here we go white draw wants to get rid of this tank he is going to do that but uh oops oops oh nice play over there from white draw taking down an additional tank that was really good these SCVs are repairing but the tank might just go down let's see it's going to be very very close now white draw does back off he's probably going to want to um wait for more reinforcements he does have six gateways right now obviously you can sustain that no problem off two bases goody's trying really hard here to break uh this uh, expansion from white Ra, but um i don't think it's really working right now he is he, these these bunkers are empty and uh, meantime looks like white Ra is going for another push over here i'm i'm really um looking at that i'm gonna press brass back key again it's really hard to follow these things and there we go the Zealots are going to work on this. The uh, War Prism. Oh, looks like he did storm those SCVs as well. I'm gonna take a look at this as well. Yep, there we go. And there were some High Templars, so let's take a look at this. Yep, three Zealots getting warped in and two High Templar. And doing some damage to this mineral line. Let's see how much good he actually lost over here. And no storm yet. No, doesn't look like it. He's probably gonna wait for Goody to send his army uh, this way before he storms or not. Looks like he's taking his High Templar back. Yep, Goody clearing this out, and um, not doing that much with that drop, actually, just losing some Zealots over there, and um, he didn't storm the SCVs, that was uh, really weird, I'm not sure, I think he was perfectly in range, but there we go, he's dropping these again, there we go, one storm going down, loading up the High Templar right away, he needs to get away though, because he might just lose the War Prism, War Prism, don't lose the War Prism, there's two High Templar there, so, um, there we go, White Draw is moving back right now, he did, he did kill off some SCVs right now, and some Marines, but, um, Let's see how this contain is going to go. There's a lot of SCVs here, actually. Four SCVs ready to repair and um, build additional structures, but I don't think he's going to be building anything over here anymore. This game is actually uh, quite weird right now. There we go. Uh, White Rock is getting the speed upgrade for his Zealots, getting an, uh, an Archon as well. Where is that Archon? I saw an Archon warping in or morphing in. How do you say that? And here we go. This. What is that lonely Archon doing there? Is he going to go to work on the rocks? Indeed. <coughs> well, it's going to take a while for him to take these down. And these are... Oh, there we go. And... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like Goody did give this up. He didn't salvage those bunkers, though. I mean, he moved all his tanks back, but he did not salvage those bunkers. I'm not sure I agree with that. And White Draw is doing really, really great right now because, well... Although this is weird... This is how many meals is this? Does he have a third command center? The income time is really. They're both mining for two bases, and you can see just how much uh, how much of a mineral advantage Goody has over here with those meals. But Wydra is going to go for an attack at the back door over here. I don't think Goody. Well, he is sieging up some tanks, but I don't think he's sieging them up in the right position. He can just siege some up here and do damage to these forces while they're working on the rocks. I'm not sure why he's sieging the tanks so far behind, and there's two tanks that are not even sieged. So well. This is hmm. this is really kind of bad play from Goody over here. This would be really easy to just take care of that with some siege tanks getting uh, in siege position over here. So yeah. Oh, and White Ra almost going for a manor nexus. I could say it's not really a manor nexus, but uh, it's still very close to your opponent. You don't really take this, but obviously he's attacking this way, so he's going to have a lot easier time defending that since all his forces are going to be coming from this direction. There we go. He is moving in a lot of zealots. No charge though. There's no storms. One or two storms here would have been great. Looks like the tanks are going down really, really fast though. Um, but this is a lot of units from Goody over here. I'm not sure. I think I think White Ra went for a bit. Too much over here and there we go he is focusing down some of these tanks tanks almost going down but not quite and here we go more reinforcements for white draw and charge is done right now and 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 then for high templar is he gone if he gets to oh he's blocking that off shame really and this observer sees everything Wow, this observer is like giving, it's like map hack right now for uh, White Rock. Is he gonna scan here? Doesn't he see this observer? Doesn't he see it? No. 
Looks like he does not. There we go, moving the Viking. He might just scan right now. But this uh, this observer is really, really good for um, for Wydra. But the thing is, Wydra is getting so many bases right now. I mean, he has three, and this one just came up, so that's four. Uh, he needs to move his... There we go. He did move his probes out from the main, probably, to this expansion right now. He wants to get some probes here. There we go. Probes are coming from all over the place. And, uh, well, Goody is getting a good amount of units right now. This is good. He might just uh, he might just be fine if he manages to get enough units out. <clears throat> he did get this Ghost Academy as well, so probably going to see some EMPs going down. Obviously, he really needs EMPs against Immortals and High Templar. It's pretty much the best thing you can get because it deals with the shields from the Immortals and the energy from the, uh, from the High Templar. So, let's see. And this is a lot of tanks. And let's take a look at the army count for a little while. Goody actually getting a 30 food advantage over here. This is pretty interesting. Why try not um, not really in the commanding position he was uh, earlier, having two bases up over one. But he still has these uh, extra expansions. But the thing is, he really lacks the army. He's getting another robotics facility, and he is getting um, uh, Colossus. He's getting um, extended thermal lance as well. So let's see. Looks like Goody wants to land this here, but well, this is not an, even a planetary fortress, so I'm, I'm not sure if that's uh, really a good idea. And let's see if these EMPs are going to go off. No, looks like these Templar are going to storm. There aren't even any ghosts here yet, so good storms. Uh, those High Templar are going down, though, but weakening most of the army over here. This is really, really weak right now. And let's see, is Goody going to be able to secure this position? There we go, one Colossus getting um, a piece of the action over here, but looks like Wydra is going to back off for now. He's getting a lot of Colossus right now, though, so once he gets... Those Colossus, I think Goody's going to be in a lot of trouble because there will be Storms, there will be Charge Lots, and there will be Colossus. And he really doesn't have the Vikings to deal with the Colossus, I think. So, um, yeah, the army composition of Wydra is going to be really, really good. Let's see how Wydra is going to deal with this. He probably won't attack here because he doesn't want to attack into that line of siege tanks. Um, he's moving his forces around. He does has, have this Observer around, so he probably sees this, but um, let's see. I'm really interested to see how this will go. There we go. Two more Colossus joining the army over here. Is he going to go for this? I have no idea what White Rye is thinking right now. He he wants to unseach those tanks. If he if he is to attack here, he needs to uh, he, um, he needs to attack without these tanks being sieged. That's very important. But um, there we go. It looks like he's going to go over here behind the natural. So let's see. This is really not defended whatsoever. So um, yep, one lonely Viking over here. That's pretty much it. And Goody is going to have to on siege if he is to defend this. I mean, he can't. He's either going to have to go for a counterattack or defend. He can't do both. This Viking going down, and this is a lot of units. And Wedra is breaking in here. Some tanks sieging. This is good. All those zealots are in are in range of the tanks, but tanks don't really do that much damage to zealots. And there we go, evacuating all those SCVs from the natural and clumping up like really, really bad. There we go. Some high templar, three high templar here actually. And let's see how these storms are going to play out. This is a lot of charge lots. Oh my god, these tanks are going to get toasted. Especially since these Colossus are in the back as well. Good storm on the SCVs. All SCVs almost dying. Oh, oh, brutal SCV. Uh, brutal SCV storm over there. And Goody does GG. In the meantime, he has been attacking over here as well with these Zealots. So, um, wow. Good play from Whitra. Good play from Whitra. And, uh, um, well, if Goody had played standard from the start, not going for that sort of Banshee rush and then the contain well the contain was pretty good but i think he didn't know when to stop um when you see that it's kind of you know uh, like your the enemy starts to break that uh contain and you can't really push in anymore you should drop the idea and obviously the best choice would have been to evacuate the marines and salvage the bunkers and uh, not keep all those forces over there those scvs and stuff for that long but uh i think um when playing the general mindset your general mindset, unless you're a really good cheese player or something like that that plays completely unorthodox and unusual, um, in an unusual way, I mean, you should go for a straight up macro game. I think you should practice your macro game as best you can because most games are going to, I mean, those important games that the players, the good players win are macro games because those macro games are really where the skill shows, where the experience shows, stuff like that. So. Um, I don't think it's advisable to go for all sorts of cheesy stuff against really good players. I mean, sure, you see the occasional action Jesus, six pull, taking out someone like Lucifron, or, but Lucifron is not really that great of a player, but he's good, but I don't think uh, six pull really kills White Dress so often or anything like that. So these players really have found a way to deal with cheese, and they can see it coming. I mean, they're good at scouting, they're good at telling what you're going to be doing. So, anyway, 
um, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. So um, Wydra did uh, win this uh, this series 2-0. Two, two, so uh, good play from Wydra. Been interesting games, both of them really. I mean, the first one was really nice with that word prison play. I hope you guys like that. And uh, if there's any Protoss viewers out there, then go try that out yourself. You'll be surprised of how well that actually works out for you. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me right now. Gonna be uploading these games, and um, I'll see you guys next time. So stay tuned for more videos.